Hello everyone, this is Taylor Edrington with Royal Gorge Anglers in Canyon City, Colorado. The oldest fly shop and fly fishing guide service and only Orvis endorsed outfitter on the entire Arkansas River Basin. Thanks so much for viewing here today. It's June 7th and we've got fantastic conditions on the Arkansas Basin from the headwater all the way down through Canyon City. Pretty phenomenal um, that we've got the conditions we've we have, you know, 900 CFS in Canyon City, uh, 1,000 CFS in Wellsville, at Wellsville, uh, 700 CFS at Granite, um, and four plus feet of clarity throughout. Great clarity um, and a lot of bugs out there. Um, you know, on a, on a standard runoff year, we'd be looking at around the third week of June to start to see edge clarity, edge fishing, um, start to get that stuff back but you know this year low snowpack and really the snowpack that we had burned off really quickly with heavy wind dust coating and just evaporation and so we saw a lot less snow melt come down than anyone was expecting uh, to be brutally honest we've been fishing the edges for two weeks now uh, with great productivity and um, you know we've had probably two to three feet of edge clarity since around the 25th of May um, with the exception of a handful of days around the runoff peak around May 18th we've been fishing hard uh, and doing really well but really the Arkansas has really turned a corner over the course of the last four to five days improved clarity, great, great conditions, and like I said, lots of bugs. It's a literal buffet out there right now for these trout. And, you know, that includes everything from hatching stone, golden stoneflies, yellow sallies, pale morning duns, caddis, um, some remaining brachycentris caddis. Um, fish are definitely eating streamers hard. Um, lots of terrestrials, lots of hoppers. We've seen some flying ants, continuing to see crane flies flying around. So really, we're moving into that prime summer fishing window about two to three weeks early this year. Um, we expect for conditions to maintain uh, in, at a phenomenal level here this summer. The reason being that we have to move quite a bit of water downstream from our contributing tail races down to Pueblo Reservoir for, for water demand downstream of Pueblo Reservoir. And so we're gonna be able to keep our flow rates at 600 to 700 CFS for the majority of the summer, at least through August 15. That will keep water temperatures nice and cool where they need to be for the trout population a great level for float fishing, great level for wading, um, should be absolutely a record year for the river. Um, already, we saw some of the in most incredible spring hatches that we've seen in a decade. We saw, a, you know, just a phenomenal caddis season this year. Um, great blue winged olive activity before that. It's been a phenomenal season, you know, to this point, no matter what, but really this summer season should just absolutely be uh, one of the better summer seasons we've seen in the last two decades on this river. Um, so, book your guide trips, plan your dates, get on the river as soon as possible, because if you really like that fishing in a barrel time period, you really need to get here soon because like I said, 900 CFS already in Canyon City. We're gonna continue to see that fall into the six to 700 CFS range, maybe 800 CFS range, but what we see when it continues to fall is we see the fish that are now within two to three feet of the bank on the edges in soft pockets, we see them start to spread out. So it becomes a bit more difficult to find fish versus now where they are all right there against the bank. It's fishing in a barrel. 
So some of our biggest number days of the year come right now and have for the last week. Um, we expect that to maintain for a few more weeks, but then it, it's going to turn into that standard summer you know, fishing where we see a lot of fish on the edges, but we also see fish out into, into the current tongue, out into softer pockets in the middle of the river, um, and you just gotta move and cover a bit more water than you do now. So just keep that in mind. Moving forward into the summer, we will see hatches continue to build and introductions of new bugs as well. So right now, like I said, we've got golden stoneflies, yellow sallies, caddis, we've got some trichos, we've got some crane flies, we've got tons of terrestrials, but we will continue to see, you know, um, new hatches being introduced, okay? We'll see red quills, we'll see drakes, green drakes, slate drakes, gray drakes, and, um, you know, we will see that through the fall season. We should, looking forward into the distance, we should have an absolutely phenomenal fall season as well. Going to be low water, guaranteed, just like this spring, but if it goes anything like this spring did, expect unreal wading conditions in the fall. Um, you know, great wading conditions through the summer, great wading conditions now edge waiting that's all where you need to be um but you know gonna be tough floating in the fall guarantee that but the waiting should be just absolutely out of this world in the fall um so like i said get here soon book your dates um you know we have very very limited guide dates available obviously through the month of july through heavy tourist season um, you know, and that is summer primetime fishing around here. So, you know, um, definitely um, want to be aware of that. If you want to book a guide trip, um, you need to get on that as soon as possible. Um, and, and really to book a hotel or anything else, um, you need to be on that because this is a recreational mecca around Canyon City and Salida with, you know, rock climbing and jeep tours and mountain biking capital of colorado and you know everything else so people are here to enjoy the outdoors if you want to get here you need to plan uh accordingly um if you need accommodation so on and so forth i i do encounter that on a daily basis helping people groups come in that you know limited capacity through the month of july and even into august so um, keep that in mind. Um, what I'd like to do is go through some patterns. So we're going to move into that. Um, like I said, there's a lot going on. So I'm just going to really skim the surface. Um, if you have any questions about that kind of stuff, you can always call us at the fly shop 888-994-6743 or email us at info at royalgorgeanglers.com. But let's take a quick look. So like I mentioned before, I've pulled together a nice selection of key patterns right now. And these are going to continue to be great producers for us here through the month of June into July um, and probably further. You know, these are all staple flies um, for that kind of summer prime time. Um, but, you know, things will change. We'll make some adjustments. Uh, if you can really focus um, on things like this, you'll be successful out there. Um, but like I said, dry dropper fishing, very, very much a staple for us. Focusing on stonefly dries, stonefly adults, your hoppers, your yellow sallies, uh, stuff like that. And then your key hatch matchers, and then our streamer stuff. So I'm gonna go through a few patterns here. Um, on top for your larger, uh, dries, you of course have different hopper patterns. Charlie Boy Hopper at the top here, Moorish Hopper um, down below, great pattern there. Um, both I like early on in green, tans will be coming on as well. Um, for our golden stoneflies, yellow, tan, chubbies, black bodies, tan bodies, those are going to be phenomenal. 
double Dutch bugs, great um, as well there. Um, Morningwood, Charlie Craven's Morningwood stone, just a fantastic fly as well. Um, moving into Yellow Sally's, more of an attractor, but a great dry dropper fly. Chubby Sally, more of a, a true hatch matcher, the headlight Sally. Um, caddis, um, black foam caddis is our standby throughout the summer. We tie it in olive as well. That's a great way to go tan, but black works well. Um, Screaming Banshee, more of a skating caddis, but fishes very, very well through summer prime time. Into our PMDs, we start with uh, a CD, uh, I'm sorry, a Comparadon um, Biot Body. This is Larry Kingry's pattern, just fantastic. Always a great producer. Ken Morsh's Hackle Stacker, one of my favorites. It's always a good idea to have a spinner. Um, this is just a standard CDC um, PMD spinner, great fly. I do like to have a few PMD emergers on me during this time period. If you find um, a school of fish feeding, you know, subsurface film, it's, it's good to have these. Um, Batwing, one of our favorites in the PMD. Um, you've also got uh, your Iceberg, another one of Larry Kingery's um, in that PMD color. Um, a few, you know, attractor nymphs that we just like to carry that cover a lot of bases. And one is the rubber leg psycho prints here. Okay. Then we've got our um, uh, caddis larva that will continue to produce very, very well. Um, your roller caddis here first, and then up top your bars uncased caddis. Phenomenal fly there. Um, then we've got um, some PMD nymphs to, to look at here. Um, we've got um, a devil's jig in that PMD color. Great Euro nymphing fly if you like to go that way. Good to run underneath a, um, a dry as well. Then next, uh, we've got Larry Kingry's Biop PMD. Great, great fly with tungsten bead. Um, Mike Mercer's trigger nymph. Another one of my favorites. Then moving over to Yellow Sally Nymphs, Iron Sally, phenomenal. Charlie Craven's new 2-bit Sally, one of our new favorite flies on the river this time period. Tungsten Goldie, kind of a soft tackle, Yellow Sally, Golden Stone crossover. And then, of course, this tried and true Guide's Choice Hairs here, phenomenal, okay. Um, let's look at a few uh, just standby stonefly nymphs. Always good to have some dark rubber legs. That's Pennington's improved stone with the rubber legs. Um, the 20 bomb, another good one. Um, the Pat's rubber legs we tie here are also phenomenal. Look at some uh, streamers. And again, I always like to run tandem, but I'm going to kind of show you some of our lead flies that I like. And you can fish these on their own. Um, as well, but um, a mini dungeon in the yellow. I love that pattern. Baby, um, uh, your dirty hippie, Charlie Craven's olive, and then our baby gongas, Craven's in olive and black. So um, those are some great patterns to uh, kind of focus on. A lot of stuff there, but really um, those are gonna be your staple flies moving forward in this early kind of summer prime so, time. I hope looking at some of those patterns give you a great idea of, of kind of which direction to go. Um, and of course, uh, you know, there are specific patterns that we like day in, day out that changes, um, you know, weekly, daily. You know, our guides are out there um, and, and they're on the water figuring that stuff out day to day. So if you really want um, the very, very best um, selection of patterns, you know, stopping into the fly shop or calling us uh, is, is always key. Um, obviously, we'll kind of note some any minute changes in our text reports, but really, you know, things are going to be very consistent on the river 
um, through the month of June and July as far as hatches are concerned. The one thing that we'll see change a little bit is flow rate. And, you know, like I said, it should stay above 600, 650 in up through that 800 CFS range. You know, potentially a little inflow from um, some monsoon effect, rain, stuff like that. Um, we'll definitely keep you up to date in our text reports on that stuff as well. And if anything dramatic changes, we'll of course be updating these video reports continuously. But um, it's great fishing out there. Uh, we are so excited about the summer season on the river uh, this year. It's just going to be one for the record books, like I said. Um, and if you do have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out to us directly um, at toll-free 888-994-6743, extension 1 for the fly shop, extension 2 for the guide office, um, and of course at info at royalgorgeanglers.com. We also have a chat line uh, available on our website. If you have questions, you'll see that chat window pop up when you're on our website. Um, type in a question. You know, we're around. Um, if We've got a bunch of people on the chat or a full fly shop, then obviously, you know, you can send us a message through that chat line or via email. Um, but we're always here to help. And hopefully, uh, you know, these reports are helpful, but you know, you gotta get out there and figure some things out for yourself. Um, that's part of the, you know, what's great about the sport of fly fishing is thinking on your feet, changing things up, being creative, things like that. But Hopefully this gives you a great base of information to kind of get started on. Um, like I said, do of course um, consider a guided trip um, through our Orvis Endorsed Outfitter. Um, you know, we have been doing this for over 30 years, oldest fly shop and guide service on the Arkansas. Um, our guides know what they're doing. Average 15 years of experience, um, they are phenomenal. Book a day, a half day, um, whatever. Learn the river better um, and really take your game to that next level. Um, that, that is so helpful. I mean, I've been guiding for most of my life, but um, you know, right at 20 years. And if I go to a new watershed, I hire a guide. It's not because I need it technically, I could probably guide on a lot of those watersheds, you know, but if I go to a new watershed, you know, I need to learn about that new watershed, the bug life, how they approach it, so on and so forth, you know. That is how you, you distance yourself from that beginner intermediate angler category into the advanced angler category you know it, it it's learning about different watersheds and how to apply those to mul those different things to multiple watersheds um, so anyways do do um, consider that moving forward if you want to learn about the Arkansas River or about the South Platte which we've been guiding on for close to 35 years any of the local watersheds in this area Stillwater, Spinney, Antero, 11 Mile, Pueblo Reservoir, any of those, we've been doing it for a long time, so just give us a shout on that. Thanks so much for viewing. If you have any questions, like I said, feel free to reach out, 888-994-6743, or info at royalgorgeanglers.com, or hit us up on the chat line on, on the website, okay? Uh, thanks so much for viewing. Have so much fun out there. Enjoy the early summer season on the Arkansas River.